Hello everyone! In today's video, we're gonna actually do a very interesting experiment. And I have my friend Leanne here. She's gonna be helping me to actually set up everything. So we're gonna see how much CO2 that we can actually like that we're rebreathing in our mask, yeah. giving us headaches and all kinds of stuff. So let's check it out. So here's the equipment we're gonna use. Entitled CO2 monitor, and this is gonna go on Andrew's finger so we can measure. Well, look at the company's name. COVID. <laughs> it just was made like recently probably when COVID-19 showed up I don't yes. know this is a nasal cannula so this is going to measure the exhaled CO2 which is the air we breathe in we exhale CO2 so this is going to actually measure right here how much exhaled CO2 and he's gonna wear this in his nose under the mask that right. sounds exciting and scary but I'm ready so we're gonna hook him to the nasal cannula so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on you there in your nose all right. Okay, behind your ears, and then we're gonna put the mask over it, just like that. We also put a little pulse oximeter probe, the Covidin probe, right on there, your finger, so it's gonna read your pulse, your oxygen levels. So notice the monitor. There's the end tidal CO2 is 35, which is good. 35 to 45 is normal. How fast he's breathing, oxygenation, and that your heart rate. And then we have a nice little waveform. So we're gonna monitor that and see how well he breathes with this mask on. So how long do we wait? I don't know. We're supposed to wear these for our entire shift 12 hours Good eight luck. hours for me that 12 <laughs> hours for them yeah that's crazy. right mainly this number here 35 let's see if it if goes lower that means that he's not breathing this mask is holding in all that co2 okay right now i'm gonna actually try to walk with this thing people outside the hospital in masks they walk a lot in fact you know every time they wear masks they actually somewhere in the store or you know in the park so we'll try to walk okay let's do it yeah there here i am walking Hopefully I'm not gonna pass out or anything. It's okay, I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid. How are yeah. you feeling? No, I'm feeling good. Okay, what's your number? 32. 32. Okay. Well, it's hard to breathe through these masks and move around. We're inside the hospital and it's actually, you know, it's all ventilated and air conditioned. I can't imagine how is it outside, you know, when you're like oh. in the heat. Still alive. No lightheadedness or dizziness? No, uh, no I'm enough. feeling well. Your oxygen never dropped. You don't have any underlining asthma, mm, no. COPD. So those kind of people that wear these masks like that, they have trouble. So still you're in the 30s. It's not bad. You obviously cannot see how much is sweating inside the mask and it's pretty tight over here and here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna breathe like really hard inside of the mask and I'm gonna cover these areas as well. Just kind of simulate very extorted activities and see what's gonna happen. Yep, and that is not a good end tidal see. CO2. No, uh -huh. we don't want it down in the 20s. So these numbers are definitely not yeah, good. Look not at that. Good. And I'm actually feeling a little bit dizzy <laughs> right now. So as you can see, you know, when you try to wear your mask and if it's too hot, and that's what happens with your oxygen levels, they just actually go down really, really fast. Yeah, after talking for a little bit, look, the numbers are not as high still. It takes a little bit for it to come back up again. That little balloon under your mask is measuring what you're exhaling out of your lungs. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. that builds up in your body, that's where you get dizziness headaches tingling in your fingers and you feel nauseated yeah because at this point right now the all the co2 is right here mm -hmm. inside oh, and that's when we have this build up of co2 and that's when you give have your numbers dropping down and that's when you have a problem mm -hmm. 